Okay guys, this creepiest thing literally just happened. We just went out and I just posted this to my Instagram oh, yeah, and my it has all, my name is directly under me. Electra's initials are right under her. Courtney looks like hers are under her. This is just too coincidental. This was not planned. Just, just watch the vlog. You'll understand. It all makes sense in a minute. But like, oh my God, I'm actually like sh shook right now. Good morning, Given It Nation. What's poppin'? What's good? How you doing? I look like absolute garbage this morning because I am, but I'm pretty sure I'm like sunburnt, like right, like right here, and I don't, I don't even know what this is. Today is Memorial Day 2018, and I am awake at like 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock right now, and I'm awake, and no, I don't have school, but I have to go to school anyway. Forgive me for my voice sounding so bad, I'm pretty sure I'm getting sick, which is absolutely, that's 100% fantastic, that's exactly what I need right now. But I have to go to school because I have to march in the Memorial Day Parade with the marching band, so I already want to die, this is not off to a good start. I'm gonna get myself up and get dressed though, because I have to like, put on fancy clothes and look my best, so we're gonna go get ready for that <coughs> oh my life is great so everyone in my family got sick I was the only one so far that didn't catch it but I think it finally hit me so sorry for sounding even more groggy and monotone than I always do Ooh, hello who's this stud in the mirror Anyway, I'm going to go to Dunkin' because it's early and I need some breakfast and some coffee because it's early and I need to wake up. Except my shoes got all muddy somehow, so I have to clean them first, which is annoying. It's literally not even 9 o'clock right now and it's already like a thousand degrees outside. It's ridiculous. I got one of these bacon and cheese wake up wraps and it's so tiny and super hot, but I'm going to eat it anyway because I got to go inside in like three minutes. Real talk though, playing an instrument is super gross. Like, more specifically, a wind instrument, because you're just blowing into it and, like, fills with your spit, and it smells weird, and it's just unsanitary. Look at us studs twinning out right now. I really don't want to do this today, but, like... Yeah. yeah, we don't have a choice. Okay, I'm going to pause this here, because we have to go outside and march, and I'm not bringing my camera, because that's too much work, so bye. Two hours later. That's it. I'm done. I'm done forever. Ah. Outside, I was literally sitting on the ground and left butt prints from my sweat. But now we have a fan, so it's all right. Is he shaving it? Like, I literally look like an egg and you just record like Damn, Caitlin. That's gnarly. Okay, so we're done with the parade. I'm done with marching band. It's too hot. Rock, you're so... Cool, with your fancy horn! Anyway, I'm going home to get changed into some like, a proper attire because this shirt is entirely too hot and then we're going to Electra's house to go swimming. Okay, so we're gonna play Marco Polo, and I guess I'm Marco because I didn't do nose goes, so. I'm apparently not good at Marco Polo, okay? and they're like making fun of me for it. Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Marco. Polo. Polo. <laughs> Hi guys. This is my friend Courtney, Brianna, we have Electra, and Aliyah. Aaliyah! Front flip all together because we're cool like that. Ready, set. <laughs> I totally tore my foot up from the pool and like even my nails are like kind of bloody right now. So it's like, ouch. I got sunburnt too. It doesn't look like it on camera, but like, I'm very red. We are all just chilling poolside now, and we are about to go to Walmart because that's a fun thing to do. Get on my Okay. I can do a round off back handspring. 
Car. I wish I was as cool as you, Electra. I know. Let's go. Yeah, you're so do you all remember like my second vlog ever where she peed herself at a haunted house and now she's about to do it again at Walmart? <laughs> no. I'm not going to. I promise. I'm going to hold it in. <laughs> right. Yeah. So this is my Memorial Day style. You can't take it. It's signature. These are Gucci sunglasses and Saks Fifth Avenue ears. You all wish you could be as cool as us. Wait, I need to <laughs> I bought the sunglasses and I don't regret it. I'm scared of shit. We're about to explore one of the most haunted bridges I've in the state of Ohio. Ohio. This is actually terrifying because right down here is the bridge and past it is just completely overgrown. Wait. Okay, so legend has it that um, a little girl was in the car with her parents, the baby. with her parents, and her parents were fighting, and the girl somehow had escaped from the car and oh, had so fallen off the bridge so and drowned. And the parents didn't realize it till they screamed. And then there's also stuff where people have heard like horse carriages driving through here and all that other stuff. It's a lot more scary at night, but I mean. This is welcome to hell right there. Yeah, it, yeah, welcome to hell. Then and then there's a giant clowns. pentagram right here. Are you kidding me? Um, watch for clowns. Yeah, there's been many suicides on this bridge too. Right under me actually, um, there used to be a rope hanging right off of this ledger here and it's gone now. Right here it says entering hell and just a little bit further up it says Mike's body and actually there was a murder scene back here not long ago so that's probably what that is. It's covered with a lot of graffiti but it's really disturbing and everybody knows it all has to do with the haunted history of this bridge and right back there actually in that field if I zoom in, you can see better. There used to be like satanic rituals that went on back there. All right, so we are going to venture back and we're gonna go find Mike's body this way. Courtney right here just said something touched her foot and she doesn't know what it was. Like I didn't see it, but we're actually at the end of the road. The road ends here and now it's just grass all the way back, we but we are way far back from the car. All in all, this place is creepy as hell. Like, there's no denying that this place is definitely haunted and it just gives really bad vibes, but we're here in the day, so it's not that scary. But we might be coming back here at night sometime soon and we'll vlog that then and we'll tell all about our experience. But right now, we're just gonna kinda hop on out of here and on to the next adventure. All right, I'm getting ready to leave these people behind because I gotta go home and study trig because tomorrow's the last official day of school and I have a trig test and yeah. Good luck. And we're gonna go on an adventure. I don't know where to or what we're gonna do though. Probably just about to go home and study and then, I don't know, probably get food or something. I'm too cool for this town. I'm back home. I'm definitely sunburned and it hurts pretty bad. So I'm going to get a shower to wash all the chlorine and stuff that's probably making the burn worse. And so I get home and find out that our air conditioning broke so my room is actually probably close to 100 degrees right now. This is ridiculously hot. This is literally about to be like the fourth time I've changed clothes today but it is just so ridiculously hot today. Easily the hottest day of the year and like oh my god it's probably only gonna get worse this summer so there's gonna be a lot of swimming vlogs to come. This aloe feels absolutely amazing on a sunburn, oh my god. So I got out of the shower and my dad brought me a Dairy Queen milkshake, so that's pretty awesome. Because our air went out and we needed to cool off somehow, so I'm trying to vlog. And now apparently there's a hornet in our house upstairs, that's always a good time. But I think that's where I'm going to end the vlog for tonight, I'm still sunburnt and it really hurts. If you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications to join the Given Nation. We are like 430 strong right now, I think that's totally amazing. You guys are just killing it with the uploads right now, like keep on doing this. You guys are like the reason I continue to make videos, so the support coming in is absolutely Oh my gosh, I literally just started six months ago and we're already this big. Like, it just excites me for the future. Anyway, this has been Given. I'm signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Given Nation.